when you talk to them, they just want to make sure you understand what's going on. You know, what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm sure John knows what they mean. Yes. Altus Alliance, that's A L T U S. Yeah, you got it? Yeah. Yeah. Point then, information we have is that yesterday at 1.30 local Chinese time, that one of the five teams that we had in the valley uh, discovered a, uh, a leg protruding from the snow at about 5,300 meters. That's about 17,400 feet. And the only positive identification that we have at this point is that it was a gray boot, a blue gaiter, and modern mountaineering equipment. Uh, this would suggest an avalanche uh, in that uh, after an avalanche, snow sets up like cement. And so the ability for the team to be able to excavate uh, would have been very difficult. And so uh, with the day ending, they went back down to camp. Uh, you know, I think if uh, whether you're a climber or a pilot or you have some sort of uh, passion about a specific sport, then yes, that would be probably the way you'd prefer to go. And the fact that she was in beautiful, pristine mountains uh, in, in unclimbed areas and climbing with someone who she knew, trusted, and loved, I think it's, she would be uh, happy with this as a way to go. Uh, you know what I could do is I could, there's, oh, I gave you that uh, email for the Iridium or no? The joys you uh, experience with having children, you can't explain that to somebody that does not have children. And it's, ve it's a very similar experience that you have with climbing. Um, it's, it's really difficult to describe in, in certain terms, and it's, it's something that uh, keeps climbers going back and, and, and seeking that experience over and over again and at the risk uh, of, of life, loss of life and um